Uh, so this video is about quadratic functions. Uh, we're going to be looking at them in the turning point form and we're going to be sketching them. So really quickly I'll talk about the turning point form in 10 seconds. So here's our turning point form, a times x minus h all squared plus k. Now we'll deal with the turning point because it's the turning point form first. h and k make up the turning point. There's our turning point, TP, a turning point. Now remember that this negative means that when you see this in an equation, it's going to do the opposite of what you expect. But we'll go through an example so you see what I mean by that. Now this other one here, this A, we've talked about this in class. Now most textbooks will tell you that this is the dilation. Now I'm happy for you to think about it in terms of dilation, if you want. If this is... Oops. If that's x squared, I should be touching my line here, then dilation, the higher the a value, the higher the a value, the more squashed up this is going to look. Now, of course, you know that if we're multiplying our function by a, it's not actually squashing, but it's, it's stretching upwards. This is actually stretching upwards like this. Regardless, the effect is the same. So, whether you think of it one way or the other, understand what it's doing. So that's not the main focus of, of this video. Though. The main focus is being able to sketch a quadratic given you know the turning point. So I'm going to run through an example so you can see what I'm talking about here. And we'll come up with a plan for sketching these. So here's a quadratic f of x equals 2 times x minus 4 all squared plus 3. So we're going to find a few significant point, points when we sketch this. Then we're going to join those significant points up. That's pretty much how we roll. So step 1 here. Different people will tell you step 1 is different, but I'm going to jump to the, what I think what's the easiest thing here, finding the turning point. Here, here, that's my turning point. So step one is finding the turning point. And remember that the turning point is the opposite of what you would expect. So because it says minus four, it's not it's not minus four, it's four. But it is three. So if I want to sketch that x and a y axis. And I know that the turning point of this particular function is going to be at x equals 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and y equals 3, 1, 2, 3, up here. 4, 3. I know one point on this equation. Okay, step two. This is. This is a bit silly, but it helps. Happy or sad? Alright, so is this a happy quadratic or is this a sad quadratic? What I mean by that is, does it look happy with a happy face or does it look sad with a sad face? Now the thing that's going to change that is our dilation. If A is greater than 0, it's going to be happy. And by default, our x squared has an A value of 1, so it's happy. If A is less than 0, if A is negative, then it's going to be sad. So, with this one, I look here, happy or sad, the A value, A equals positive 2. That means that A is greater than 0 which means that this is going to be a happy quadratic. Okay, there's step two. So I'm just going to draw in something really lightly here. Okay, happy face. It's going to change as I go, but now I know that it's got a turning point here. The turning point is called a minimum because it's down at the bottom here, and it looks like this. Step three. Step three is our y-intercept. We need to find out where this line crosses the x-axis. 
So if I want to find a y-intercept, it crosses the y-axis where x is equal to 0. So let x equal 0. So f of 0 equals 2, 0 minus 4 squared plus 3. You can type that into your calculator, 2 times 0 minus 4 squared plus 3 and get an answer. That should be 35 there. Uh, and that means that our y-intercept is 35. That point right there is 35. Okay, there is a final step here, but we're not going to be able to do it with this example. Step four is to find the roots. Now the roots are where this crosses the x-axis. But it's a happy face and the turning point is above the x-axis so it doesn't have any roots. In this case, no, no roots. Okay, so that's sketching this one. Uh, I'm going to quickly do another one and I'm going to show you how to find the roots in a case where there are roots. So I'm going to sketch this function. Step one, find the turning point. Now the turning point is going to be this, but the opposite of what you'd expect. And it's going to be this and exactly what it is. It's going to be minus five, minus four. So here, here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. It's here at minus five, minus four. There's my turning point. Step two happy or sad. My a value is 3, a is equal to 3, a is greater than 0, therefore happy. So it's going to go through the face here. Uh, there are our roots, you can see we're going to have roots and we're going to have a y-intercept as well. So step 3, find the y-intercept, f of 0 equals 3 times 0 plus 5 squared minus 4, uh, 25, 75, minus 4, 71. This obviously isn't to scale, it doesn't have to be if I'm sketching this too, too closely. Uh, finally, step 4. This one takes a little bit of hardcore algebra. Find roots. So that means that we let the function equal 0 and then we solve. 0 equals, we're letting the function equal 0 because we, the roots occur when y is equal to 0. That's where we cross the x-axis. So 0 equals 3 bracket x plus 5 squared minus 4. Steps. Move the negative 4 to this side and we get positive 4. 4, 3, x plus 5 squared. This says 3 times x plus 5 squared, so we can divide by 3. Now we've got a squared, so we need to take the square root of both sides. And finally, subtract 5 from both sides. There's going to be two answers, and there's two answers because this is not just root 4 on 3, it's plus or minus root 4 on 3. Remember the square root of something can be positive or negative. Okay, so type positive root 4 on 3 minus 5 into your calculator, minus, minus 5, and do minus root 4 on 3 minus 5 into your calculator, and you'll get two answers. One answer will be x is equal to negative 3.845 or my second answer, second answer here is negative 6.155 and those two points would go here, negative 3.845 and here at negative 6.155. Okay, so now I've got four points. Do 
took four foot. I just joined them up with a nice sort of curve. And there I have sketched my function with four steps.